Well, I've been having some laptop trouble, so I'm going to attempt to fix the whole thing. Had it for several years, but it just keeps getting hotter and hotter. So I downloaded this little program that will tell me the actual CPU temperature. And you can see right here, right now, it's sitting here running at 95 Celsius, which that's over 200 degrees. That's just, just too hot. I mean, max temperature on the CPU is, is, is 100 degrees. We're just, just under the max temperature. And uh, I'm getting occasional blue screens and freezing up on me. So I'm going to try to strip it down and, and take this, the CPU cooler off of it, clean everything up, put it back together. In fact, I even used my little infrared uh, temperature gun here and measured the air temperature coming out of the back of it. The air temperature out of the back is 130 degrees air blowing out of, the, out of the back of the grill here. So I'm going to start taking, uh, dissecting it best I can, see how far I get and see what I find out. Then we'll see what kind of temperatures I have once it's all put back together. Well, I'm on my way. So, got a whole bunch of screws taken out already because the very first thing if you're going to ever take apart your laptop to do this is the very first step, take the battery out because you don't want to leave that in there, start taking screws out, drop something on the motherboard, short it out, you just killed it. So, take the battery out. Probably a good idea to hit the power button too to discharge any current that's in there. So, I will do that. But I'm just going to show you some components. Here's a hard drive. In fact, I changed it a while ago, a while back. I went from a standard hard drive to an SSD, no moving parts. Nice, fast hard drive. And I just dropped a screw that i got to find somewhere down here. Oh, there it is. See these little tiny little screws? You could be very careful about them things. So I put a little arrow as to where that screw went to. Uh, here's a little component here. This is your wireless card gives you wireless internet. There I get, did I get it off another screw. There's your, there's your memory. If you want to upgrade your memory, they just snap in place. That's easily done. And here's how I keep straight all my screws. Because a lot of these screws are different lengths. So you want to make sure you put them back where you take them out. Don't think that you'll remember. Because you won't. There's just too many screws. So that's all the screws on the bottom side, I think. So I'm going to flip it over and Start to taking the keyboard off and the screen and other components. Okay, I just want to show you this. Um, they got these zero, these little tiny little levers here. That's what holds these ribbons in place. I can try to flip this up with one hand. There it goes. I think it went. Well, anyway, a little bitty lever, there it goes. It flips up, and that's what releases these little ribbons. So it comes right out. So just don't go yanking on those things without flipping up that little lever piece first. You'll find a bunch of those all over these laptops, and connect to the motherboard and power switches and things. So we'll keep taking things apart till we get down to the CPU. You're not going to see a lot of dirt dust in here. Really contributing I guess to my overheating issues and here's a trick about getting these apart because see a lot of these things once you get the screws out they still are kind of snapped together and they're so tight you got to be careful about getting them apart but that's where a plastic spoon works really well you can get in here and just get it started and go across and it'll pop them right, up, right, up, right off and that way you don't scratch up your plastic plastic spoon that plastic knife works real well for that. And where's my keyboard? I was going to show you that. So here's a little thin little keyboard. And if you happen to pour a pop in your laptop and it just gets your keyboard all messed up, you can easily change them out. Just that one little connection here. And you can buy a new keyboard for probably 15 bucks or so. So don't give up on your laptop if you, if you pour a bunch of pop on your keyboard. Okay, getting deeper, and you see I've made little notes here, like where wires go with the paths and stuff. And this was quite a burger. I got well, this thing has a lot of ribbon connections on it that I had to take loose all over the place. And now that I've done that, I can lift this off, and ta-da! There's the motherboard. And so in here, that's your CMOS battery. See what a burger it is to get to that CMOS battery. Because you ever get your laptop, it, it, every time you turn it on, it's like 1995 or 2000. I got the wrong date on it. That's the problem, is the CMOS battery. 
Some are easy to get to, some are not. This one, not so much. So I'm still not to where I need to be. I still got to pull the motherboard because I got to get down to the, the CPU and with all the cooling takes effect. And there's my speaker system. Isn't that cool? I guess these little these little canisters canisters back here give it like the base some weird way. Not much of a speaker, is it? But uh, we'll carry on. Getting closer. So finally got the motherboard out, but I still have not got to where I want to be exactly. Isn't that pretty? All those pieces, parts, how all that works, and then um, I think it's kind of surprised everything's not, nothing's really stopped up. Fins are all clear, so I believe my issue is going to be here on the on the CPU. We'll pull all this off, and I'll reset the CPU. And there's um, stuff called a uh, quick silver, silver, a special material goes on there between the heat sink and the CPU to transfer the heat. So I'm going to put that on new. Hopefully that'll help uh, dissipate the heat better. So we got a little a few more parts to take off. So I think I found my problem. And, uh, initially when you looked at this, I took the fan out. The fan looks fine. This looks clean. That looks clean to look at it. But after I took the fan out and looked inside, look what I see or what I can't see actually. See how all those fans are stopped up? Let me get it the right way. There you go. See the light is barely getting through out on some areas. So that was blocking the airflow. So that's why it was overheating so much. But so I will clean all this out and get it all put back together. And I'll reset the CPU. So there's that little the, the type of putty to put on there to on the heat sink. And that's kind of interesting how this works. Check this out. Because when this sits back on here like this and your fans in there spinning so look, you got this little copper tube this copper tube pulls the heat off the CPU and runs it up into these fans so it can dissipate so it's pretty cool how they figured all that out heat sink all that top. all right I've been got the air compressor out and blew the fan out got all that nice and clean and got this Let's see if I can show you here on the see how clean that is now. See plenty of light. And then I've got um I am gonna I got me some synthetic oil. I'm just gonna put me one little drop if I can get it in here. Just one single drop down in here. There we go. Just, just put one little drop down there on the um fan bearing to keep it nice and quiet because sometimes they get they get noisy you start making a racket and they're burgers where you see how much work you got to do to get into it you have to dissect the whole laptop to get down to the fan so now I've done that I will start uh, getting this back together once I get my paste put on there and put that all, all on well I finally got the 400 screws put back together and I was wanting to show you our temperatures now if I can if I can get this thing to focus in close Focus, focus. I'm not focusing. Okay, now we're focused. See right there? 49 degrees. Before we were sitting about 90, maxing out at 100. So um, that's what we wanted to see. Much cooler operating laptop. Hopefully, I'll get no more blue screens and be ready to go. So, next time you have a laptop giving you trouble, don't throw it out. Just fix it yourself. Now you know what to do. Ain't no problem. Took about two hours total time, I guess. Total tear down, clean it up, and put it back together. Wasn't so bad. You have a great day. See you, bye.